am my feathers. Welcome back to part two of my um, collaging. And I actually collaged on a long, 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 look how, how many dictionary pages I have together. I made like a roll. And it is big. Look how big it is. It's big and it's yummy, ladies. Look, 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 look. So what I did, I did all the collaging on my roll. I showed you in my previous video how I just took two um, dictionary pages and I glued them together. As you can see in the back, you can see how they are glued together. And um, eventually I will go back and I will add some background uh, papers on here, whether they're um, my... Um, full coloring papers that I did or whether they just regular plain white paper like I have here I have this banner paper that I got from a thrift store so I could even put this on there so I'm not just I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet but definitely I am going to add some background paper on the back so I can use it for um, journaling so after I did my um, collaging, I took just some regular um, labels that I got off of Etsy. And you can see here where I put them in different places here. Um, these labels and these labels. So when I cut them, I have to be, you know, very um, strategic as how I cut them when I cut them for um journaling cards I, I usually probably cut it the label inside of it and when i cut this i have to make sure i cut the whole label and when i cut it on this side i probably have to cut this and part of this or whatever so it will definitely work so i went on each one of them and i just added labels and i add little cards like these i print them printed these off of Etsy and um, I added I just tore one in half and I added it to my collage okay so it just gives it a little a more pizzazz I just glued them to different sections of the um, the page so here I'm going to show you how I just took the page here the little label I just like I told you I just cut it in half and I just added some glue to it and I just placed it somewhere on the paper on the page here's a label just took a label and add it somewhere on the page okay so that's fun doing that here another one i'm almost to the end of my pages as you can see this here right here is the end of the page so just place it in different spots So, I hope everybody is well today, and I hope everyone is having a fantabulous uh, crafting day. So, let me just take this one here and just cut it in half so I can add it to this part right here. Okay? So, so like this roll, like I told you, I will usually cut it in different um different sizes and i will be using them for like i did on the last one i will be using them for journaling journaling uh cards or big tags to put in my journal so you will definitely be able to use definitely be able to use them for whatever you desire even i could fold this one here and make like a little booklet you know you can fold the large ones and make it into a booklet you know and um i really have to get a better glue stick 
So you all let me know which glue sticks that you all use, which is a very good one. Because I usually get the ones from the Dollar Tree or from Target, and those are not that good. So I'm definitely going to have to invest in some really nice glue sticks. So just suggest the types of glue sticks that you use that will be some very nice ones. So this one, it could be a booklet, you know. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to make some nice yummy see like I see see how this coming apart I know you who is a good one and I think Scott has good glue sticks also so I'm going to invest in some very nice um glue sticks I'm gonna really invest so as I go back and um when I start to cut them out, cut them out, and then I will start adding um, different things to to it. So I just get my scissors, and when I cut them out, I probably will just cut them so I can have part of the. Um, You see cut them so I will have part of the label in it because I don't want to you know destroy the label so I just cut it where I can have part of the label here and I definitely have to go back and put a label on this one but, you know, you just cut them, and, and you don't have to always cut them, like, around the label. You can just go, and, and look how cute that is. You see? You don't have to cut on the label. You can also cut around the label. It will give you a nice, you know, look how cute that is. Give you a nice little piece there. So... So here, but what I need to do before I start cutting them out, I need to back the pages. But even if I don't back the pages, I can always go back and just take a sheet of background paper, whether it's my color paper or whether it's my white paper, and I just could, you know, just place it down, just glue it here, just glue them. I really don't want to use wet glue, but I'm just doing this for the video. I, I want to use a glue stick, but I'm just showing you for the purpose of the video. So, just glue it like that. So, on the back of it, I will have a, I will have some journaling. I will have a journaling spot. And like I say, you don't want to use wet glue. If you do, just try to, you know, use it like this with your fingers, like so it won't use, it won't leave that ripple effect and everything on your paper so let's do it like this and let me see if I could get this one let's see if I could get yes I can get that on here so if you're going to use the wet glue just try to smear it with your fingers so you won't get the little ripples which and the little wrinkles but I think you still will get the little wrinkles because it's wet glue. So what you want to do is try to use a, a glue stick, which will be much better if you do use a, a glue stick. So as you can see here, on the back, you see how it is wrinkled? That's what I was talking about, the wrinkle part. The wrinkle part you're going to get because it is wet glue. So, I will definitely, like I said, I will invest. I've used all of my glue sticks already when I, um, was, when I was gluing all the collages down. I used all of my glue sticks, so I am like totally out of glue sticks now. So, I have to go and purchase some more. But um, here is 
but just an example of how you know you see the wrinkles i don't want the wrinkles but the wrinkles are going to be there because of the wet glue so i'm not going to do it anymore because i definitely want to have maybe i want to really have a smoother backing okay so just remember the glue sticks will be better uh instead of the wet glue okay so i hope this has helped you and i definitely will go back and once you have your papers cut like this here once you cut your journaling cards or your tags or whatever you always go and you get your um let me see here take out your embellishment and you and you have to use a vocal point so if you want your flowers to be a vocal point and you want to use a tag as your or a label as your vocal point always you know go to your embellishments and just pull out something that you can use you can use and there's so many different things you can use okay so let me just show you an example here of what you what you can use okay so let's take this one right here i'm going to add a vocal point this says secret garden so we can add this secret garden to it or you can add home sweet home or you can add a little tea card here add a tea card there but I, or either you could just back it with something else because i don't see this on there so let's just put this on it so it can give it a little backing because we didn't we don't have anything on this one here so we could just put that there and then we could add the tea card to that okay that moved a little bit okay So, let's make sure you're straight. Add your tea card on it. Okay. Then you can find a little label here, a little stamp here, or whatever. Or you can find a little flower. Let me see if I can find it. Is this the one that had my little flowers in it? Let me see. I'm not sure. We can add a butterfly. Add a mushroom. We want to add a mushroom or whatever. Let's add that mushroom there. So, um, so it just have fun decorating them really nice time decorating them and here you have it your journaling card how cute is that and then you have your writing on the back so you have butterflies you could just play you can add butterflies to it let's do another one so let's this one already has that label on it for your writing so you can journal there and you can journal also on the back so let's just put this flower there Add this flower here in the corner and you still have some a journaling space let me get a butterfly and a butterfly there This butterfly is too big. Try to find a smaller one. And you can have them hanging off the page. They don't always have to be on the page perfectly. You can have it hanging off the page. So let's put this little guy right here on the corner of the page. Okay. So here it is. Go and I'm, you know, always, I love my words. So let's find a word. 
this word says create add your word here and there it is there is your journaling card okay ladies so i mean have fun making them and adding so many different things to them and i'm telling you the possibilities are endless so i will come back to you and i will definitely show you all of the ones that i completed all of the ones that i done so this is part two of the other one collaging pages with tags and journaling cards so this is part two as how to add all of your different um labels add your different labels and everything to it so you can always you can have most of the um your things already on it so i hope i inspire you and god bless you and don't forget to be inspired bye bye